morning. So today I am showing you what I eat in a day for my autoimmune paleo or protocol diet. And we're starting off with breakfast. And today I've got um, some sweet potato hash that I made by grating up a sweet potato mixed in with um, one piece of fried bacon in there, um, the uncured bacon from Wegmans, and then some jumbo green olives and they aren't stuffed with any red pimentos or anything, they're just plain olives. And then some organic uh, raspberries, they were a nice size for this batch that they had. So definitely picked up some of those, rinse those off. And then some infused water that I'm drinking there. So yeah, that's breakfast. All right, hi everybody, this is my lunch. And um, I've got um, some Grillo's pickles here. These are free of the yellow pickle or the yellow dye that they put in pickles sometimes. And um, the ingredients looked really good with this. And then I've got an organic avocado here on the side here. It's about a half of an avocado. And on top of my grass-fed um, beef burger um, from Wegmans. And then some Jones Canadian bacon on the top that I fried up earlier. And then he, I've got an organic orange that I got. Um, I haven't had an orange in a while, so that should be good. And some more infused water. And yeah, that's my lunch for today. Hi everybody, it's dinner time. And I just wanted to share with you um, that we're tonight we're having kebabs. And um, these are um, the organic chicken apple sausage and um, some yellow zucchini and some fresh pineapple that I cut up and some mushrooms. So these are mine, they haven't been cooked yet as you can tell, um, but I thought I'd get a nice action shot. These are my husband's. He doesn't like as many vegetables. <laughs> I try to get him to eat what he can, but um, he's also got some andouille sausage on here. But yeah, so we're cooking away in our George Foreman. That does look great. So that's our dinner for tonight. And I did make a lot so that I could have um, leftovers for tomorrow. All right, that's it. And here is my Siamese cat in Min. I gave him a little catnip, so he's super happy. Aren't you? Yeah. Mary, going after some catnip. Boy. <laughs> Hi everybody, last but not least, I am having dessert. And tonight I'm having, I know this doesn't look like much, but um, I'm having organic canned pumpkin. And I was kind of craving like pumpkin pie and um, I basically like the filling anyway. So what I did was I took about oh, maybe a half cup of canned pumpkin and then about a tablespoon of this organic creamed coconut that I already had in this container. And then I microwaved it for about a minute or so to get it warm. I added a splash of this um, pure maple syrup, some cinnamon, and some Himalayan pink salt. And the salt really brings out the sweetness. And um, yeah, it tastes like a little bit like a nice pumpkin pie type of dessert. And um, last but not least, I took my uh, probiotic earlier, but I wanted to share it now. And this is the Fresh Coconut Water Probiotic by Inner Eco. And, um, the, it's you have to keep this refrigerated and you take about a tablespoon I just I just sip it right out of the jar and they say I went to the site and it said it's best if you like swish it around in your mouth a little while and then uh, it gets the probiotic started and um, and then you swallow it and uh, yeah so I've been really enjoying this it's about I don't know I think about 15 or 16 dollars but and you keep it in your fridge and you know it was I think it's great. I, I like it so far. It doesn't clog me up, so <laughs> I appreciate that. But yeah, so this is what I ate for today in total. Um, I hope you enjoyed this, and thanks for joining me. Bye.